Wednesday the 10th. Since Wednesday the 10th, eh? 10th of oh, November, man. we were camped back in there. Over there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, yeah, holy And Mike, Mike, Mike Bellet. It's a sad day for us. We've spent over three weeks together, stranded on this four kilometer section of the Coquihalla Highway. And it seems that Mike is just here burning up the rest of his firewood and then getting ready to hit the road back to his home. Oh, wow, it's, uh, it's, it's surreal after being here. Today's 28 days. It's, uh, yeah, it's emotional to finally get to go across and go home. So today is December 11th, it's a Saturday. I'm standing here at the Sawakwa exit. This is the turnaround road. Uh, as you remember from our previous videos, this is where the RV and the car were parked uh, before they got swept away down the river. So, And that RV floated away. And this is, a, this is right here on the side of the road, right about there is where the gray car was parked and then ended up being washed away into the river. Today we have some dramatic footage of the Othello exit and the Rocket area on the Coquihalla Highway, approximately eight kilometers outside of uh, Hope. and I would uh, would really like to s express our sincere thank you and gratitude to the friends, family, and right out strangers that have helped us during this last month. We've been stuck here. We have been here at the Carolyn Mines exit area 195 on the Coquihalla since November 10th for a five-day camping trip that has turned into a 28-day ordeal. During the natural flooding disaster that has hit British Columbia on November 14th, 2021, we have a great deal more, we are a great deal more fortunate than the majority of families affected by this incident. We can tell you about it, but only you can make yourself see it. It is the genuine actions without any expectations of reward that have taken place in the last few weeks that we would like to express our thank you to. From the bottom of our heart, we would like to thank you all, and we will never forget the help we received to get us through it all. Valley Helicopters, the owners, Fred and Brad Fendrich, Scott McLeod, wow, you guys are outstanding, without exception. Tim Bennett, who just 
landed here, landed his helicopter here out of the goodness of his heart to check on our safety and well-being. Hewitt Construction, Ex extra special thank you to the super incredible guys of Hewitt and the great employees your company has, such as Charlie Dobson, Chris Dupuis, Logan Dietrich, Mike Emerys, Chris O'Reilly, along with many others that have gone out of their way to help and assist us. Frank Mays from Enbridge for supply deliveries while flying in Valley helicopters to do his job. Great big thank you and love to our friends and family for being there. Daryl and Anita Weir for going shopping for supplies and driving to Valley helicopters. My brother Jody and Lisa Pellet for shopping for more supplies and getting them from Langley all the way out to Valley Helicopters, which at the time was an incredible feat. Well, here's the best thank you for last. The St Sturbro family who have been stuck with us in this three kilometer stretch of the Coquihalla Highway. Mark, Lori, Jeremiah, Tanya, Theo, and Matt. Where do we begin? The most humble and honorable family we happen to meet during this time of distress. <laughs> oh wow. At first skeptic of us. <laughs> Only due to the circumstances <laughs> and, and being protective of their proud from scratch built long time retreat. Only understandable. However, during the height of the flood on November 14th and 15th, after a couple days of running into each other, it sure has all changed. Yeah. We cannot begin to explain that without any agenda at all, the help we have received from your incredible family. <laughs> oh, Please keep in mind, neither Mike or I knew of their f filming hobby, which is in <laughs> hindsight has given us all the ability to reflect back in the years to come and give thanks for it all and the newfound friendships we with them. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, Cut. well, you know what? <laughs> okay, so this looks... We need to thank you guys too, because uh, I think uh, we couldn't ask for a better people to be stuck on the highway <laughs> with. Oh, yeah. We made a good friendship and... Uh, we're wishing you guys all the best yes. in the return to your life in the city. <laughs> yeah. And we're always here if you want to come visit yeah. us. Uh, we're looking you forward bet. to that and uh, we'll do the same. On a